So before going to preparation of uh, uh, zinc oxide nanoparticles by using salt gel technique, so we have to calculate the amount of uh, uh, salt that we have to take. So in this experiment, I am going to make the use of uh, zinc acid dihydride as a starting material. So the corresponding molecular weight of uh, this compound is 219.5 gram per mole. And I'm going to take 150 ml of uh, solvent, so which is a combination of uh, 75 ml of methanol and remaining 75 ml of uh, um, uh, two methoxy ethanol. And I'm going to prepare the zinc solution, complex solution, uh, with a concentration of uh, 0 0.2, that is molarity, molarity is 0 0.2. So this is the formula. So weight of a zinc acid dihydrate that should be added to uh, 150 ml of uh, solvent so that is given by w equal to capital m small m capital v divided by 1000 so substitute the values molarity capital m equal to 0 0.2 uh, into the molecular weight of a zinc acid dihydrate is 219.5 and the volume of uh, solvent is 150 ml uh, divided by 1000 then you will be getting nearly 6.58 grams so approximately I'm going to take 6.6 uh, .6 of 6.6 uh, .6 grams of uh, zinc acid dihydrate and I will dissolve this 6.6 uh, .6 grams of uh, zinc acid dihydrate into uh, 150 ml of uh, the solvent which is uh, the mixture of uh, methanol and 2-methoxy uh, ethanol. The another component uh, that we are adding that is monoethanolamine MEA. The corresponding uh, molecular weight of uh, MEA is 61.08 gram per mole and corresponding density is 1.012 gram per centimeter cube. So we have to calculate number of moles. So moles equal to uh, that molar into volume. So here we are preparing 0 0.2 uh, capital M mole, nothing but 0 0.2 molar concentration solution. So 0 0.2 into 150 ml or 0 0.2 into uh, 0.15 so that will give you number of moles uh, nothing but moles equals to 0 0.03 so here volume equal to uh, mass divided by density nothing but uh, moles into molecular weight divided by density so moles is nothing but 0 0.03 molecular weight of MEA 61.08 divided by the density is 1.012 so that will give you around 1.8 ml that means so in this process I am going to add monoethanolamine of a volume 1.8 to 2 ml for doping purpose here I am going to make the use of a ferric nitride nonahydride as the source of uh, iron doping so the corresponding molecular weight is 404 gram per mole so here I am going to add 3% of uh, this uh, compound so for the mole same mole concentration so 0 0.2 into 404 uh, into 150 divided by 1000 so 3 percent is nothing but 3 by 100 so this is approximately equal to 0 0.363 grams that means i am going to add 0 0.363 grams of uh, this ferric nitride nonahydride which is going to be uh, the source of uh, iron doping so here I am going to take uh, the blending of uh, two solvents. One solvent is uh, methanol, another solvent is 2-methoxy uh, ethanol which is also known as methyl cellosolv. So with the help of a measuring jar, I am going to take uh, 75 ml of uh, methanol. The rest 75 ml is 2-methoxy ethanol. So this is 2-methoxy uh, ethanol which is also called as methyl cellosolv. So 75 ml of uh, methyl cellulose always added to the beaker which is already containing 75 ml of uh, methanol. So it is a blending of uh, 150 ml. Total solvent is 150 ml. So which is the combination of uh, two solvents, methanol and 2 methoxy ethanol. So this is nothing but the source of uh, zinc oxide uh, nanomaterial. The source is uh, zinc acetate dihydrate which is the product from SRL chemicals. So I am going to take nearly 6.6 .6 grams of uh, um, this uh, zinc acetate dihydrate. 
सो दिस इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम्स ऑफ जिंक एस्टेड डाइहाइड्रेट सो एड दिस अमाउंट ऑफ जिंक एस्टेड डाइहाइड्रेट पाउडर टू दी सॉल्वेंट ब्लेंडिंग ऑफ सॉल्वेंट so i'm going to stir this uh, solution at a temperature 70 degrees centigrade so that's why here i have set the bathing temperature to 70 degrees centigrade so you can see on the screen so the solution is stirring with the help of a hot plate magnetic stirrer so this hot plate is externally connected to a microcontroller controlled temperature controller so after 5 minutes of uh, stirring then i am going to add uh, nearly 1.8 to 2 ml of uh, mono ethanolamine so mono ethanolamine is going to control the ph value not only ph value it is going to control the uh, particle agglomeration and it is help uh, full in controlling the uniform particle size so around 1.8 ml of uh, mono ethanolamine here i am adding so it is continuously stirring you can see a homogeneous uh, zinc complex solution is obtained this is after adding 3% of ferric nitric nonohydrate so after uh, 24 hours of uh, aging time i got this uh, gel type solution network so which has to be uh, heated at uh, 120 degrees centigrade to evaporate the solvents so that will be up to minimum 15 minutes then you will get uh, a solid uh, dust so which has to be uh, crushed the crushed powder so it has to be again uh, cleaned with uh, double distilled water acetone methanol ethanol uh, isopropanol so finally you are going to get a fine powder dust free powder so that powder has to be uh, calcinated in uh, muffled furnace at uh, 500 degree centigrade for 1 hour then finally you will get uh, nano powder so here i did not have the data to show you so that's why i have uh, uh, presented the video up to this one only but depending on my experience definitely i can say that the final product is going to have a wz hexagonal crystal structure